Hello there. Today we're going to read The Magic Finger by Roald Dahl, illustrated by Quentin Blake. The farm next to ours is owned by Mr. and Mrs. Gregg. The Greggs have two children, both of them boys. Their names are Philip and William. Sometimes I go over to their farm to play with them. I am a girl and I am eight years old. Philip is also eight years old. William is three years older. He is ten. What? All right then. He is eleven. Last week, something very funny happened to the Greg family. I'm going to tell you about it as best as I can. Now, the one thing that Mr. Greg and his two boys loved to do more than anything else was to go hunting. Every Saturday morning, they would take their guns and go off into the woods to look for animals and birds to shoot. Even Philip, who was only eight years old, had a gun of his own. I can stand hunting. I just can't stand it. It doesn't seem right to me that men and boys should kill animals just for fun they get out of it. So I used to try to stop Philip and William from doing it. Every time I went over to their farm, I would do my best to talk them out of it. But they only laugh at me. I even said something about it once to Mr. Greg, but he just walked on past me as if I wasn't there. Then one Saturday morning, I saw Philip and William coming out of the woods with their father. They were carrying a lovely young deer. This made me so cross that I started shouting at them. The boys laughed and made faces at me. Mr. Greg told me to go home and mind my own peace and cues. Well, that did it. I saw red. Before I was able to, to to stop myself, I did something I never meant to do. I put the magic finger on them all. Oh dear, oh dear. I even put it on Mrs. Greg, who wasn't there. I put it on the whole Greg family. For months, I had been telling myself that I would never put the magic finger upon anyone again. Not after what happened to my teacher, old Mrs. Winter. Poor old Mrs. Winter. One day we were in class and she was teaching us spelling. Stand up, she said. She said to me, and spell cat. Oh, that's an easy one, I said. K-A-T. You are a stupid little girl, Mrs. Winter said. I am not a stupid little girl, I cried. I am a very nice little girl. Go and stand in the corner, Mrs. Winter said. And I got cross. I saw red and put the magic finger on Mrs. Winter, good and strong. And almost at once, guess what? Whiskers began growing out of her face. They were long black whiskers, just like the ones you see on a cat, only much bigger. And how fast they grew! Before we had time to think, they were out. Of, they were out to her ears. Of course, the whole class started screaming with laughter, and then Mrs. Winter said, "Will you be so kind as to tell me what you find so madly funny, all of you?" And then, when she turned around to write something on the blackboard, we saw that she had grown a tail as well. It was a huge, bushy tail. I cannot begin to tell you what happened after that, but if any of you are wondering whether Mrs. Winter is quite all right, again now the answer is no, and she never will be. The magic finger is something I have been able to do all my life. I can't tell you just how I do it because I don't even know myself. But it always happens when I get cross, when I see red, and I get very, very hot all over. Then the tip of the forefinger of my right hand begins to tingle most terribly, and suddenly a sort of flash comes out of me—a quick flash, like something electric. It jumps out and touches the person who has made me cross. And after that, the magic finger is upon him or her, and things begin to happen. 
will 